Welcome to season five of the Morgan Park Show. I figured what better way to start off a brand new season, a wonderful summer, than, than quenching our thirst and, and taking a look at a weird TikTok phenomenon while also indulging a bit in the weird TikTok phenomenon at play. Today we're gonna be talking about water talk, which in case you're dumb is the words water and TikTok combined into one. I'm gonna explain water talk right now, but while I'm talking about water talk, I'm gonna actually play some examples for you on the screen right now. Water talk is, uh, is honestly pretty simple, although it's very weird. It's people who are obsessed with the flavored waters. Um, if you look, let's cut back to the camera for a second. If you see I have all these kind of powder drink mixes, that's a huge part of water talk. Uh, so people will combine these, make different recipes, you know, mix and match. And they also have these syrups, which I don't have. I'm not balling that much. You guys aren't subscribing and liking these videos nearly enough for me to afford those water syrups. But I do have the powdered mixes, which we will be trying some of today. We're not going to be doing any crazy recipes, but we are going to be tier listing these as well as talking about water talk um, while we do that. So I'm going to just push all these, push all those off to the side. Push all those off to the side right now. How do you guys like... The desk setup, by the way, is this nice? I feel like it's kind of nice to be able to hunch over the desk while I talk to you guys directly, but hey, maybe you guys think it sucks. Uh, let me know in the comments down below whether or not I suck. So I got I got my Brita here. I'm pretty sure you can see it on camera. Um, and I also have all these. I'm gonna start off with one that I don't think is too weird. I'm gonna start off with just sun-kissed orange. Just a, just a little orange drink mix. Now all of these, are zero sugar, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's kind of like the whole shtick of these drink mixes, right, is, is zero, yeah, they're, they're all sugar-free. First one going in here. I don't know why I thought that was gonna look cool. I know these are all recommended to be mixed with like eight ounces of cold water, but we have roughly eight ounces of lukewarm water for each of these. For those not familiar with the sun-kissed orange soda, it is a soda and it's carbonated usually. Um, this obviously is not carbonated, so I'm interested to see uh, how that's gonna be. I must say it, it smells quite a bit like sun-kissed. So let's, let's keep this in frame while we're, while we're doing it. Um, it does smell quite a bit like sun-kissed. So let's give it a shot here. That's not bad, pretty good actually. Yeah, I drink this again. You know, I was expecting it to be weird because it's not carbonated, but really, to be honest, it's not weird at all because although it tastes good, it's not nearly as sweet as a sun kiss. So it, it just kind of tastes like a generic orange drink mix. And, and that's fine, I'm not used to those being carbonated. It doesn't taste that much like sun kiss, but it's good nonetheless. It's a very, very deep color of orange. It's not the most appetizing looking, but it's, it's good. It's good, we'll drink again. Now, just very recently, Curtis Connor did a video about Water Talk with Danny Gonzalez, and they kind of did a little bit of deep dive. They had some fun there. Uh, mad respect to them. I am bringing it up because I actually didn't get the video idea from them. This has been on my docket for over a month now. And while I didn't steal the video idea from Curtis Connor, I did steal it um, from Monty. I stole it from my girlfriend uh, because she apparently at one point was on Water Talk and told me about it. And I had no clue what water talk was. And I was like, what the hell is water talk? And she explained it to me and I'm like, I feel like that'd be a pretty good video idea is just trying all of these different powdered drinks. Up next, we're gonna do Starburst, blue, blue Starburst drink mix. A lot of these are weird. I don't know how many you could see in the intro, but a lot of these are very odd. And thus, Jesus turned water into Starburst blue raspberry drink mix water. Don't worry about cross-contamination as well. I'm gonna be um, using fresh glasses every time, which means I'm gonna have to go and clean them out in between some of the takes. So I got four glasses that I'll be keeping through rotation, but we, got, but we have more than four drinks here, so. I gotta be honest, this one is not inspiring confidence. This one is kind of looking and, and smelling bad. It's a very deep blue. I mean, wow, I just realized we kind of got like the portal gun colors going on here. I didn't realize that, but yeah, they both look like the portal gun. I don't know, just a very strong smell of blue raspberry, which I know I shouldn't be surprised about. It's blue raspberry starburst drink mix, but uh, but still. Definitely worse than the sun-kissed orange, so I'm gonna put that, 
uh, beneath Sunkissed Orange. I have a little list going here that we'll review at the end. Now, there's a lot of kind of like controversy around water talk. I don't know if controversy is the right word, but a lot of people really, really, really hate water talk. And personally, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I feel like it's weird to have really strong feelings about water talk because it's just people having fun with their water, you know? You can say it's childish, you can say it looks gross, but I mean, it's not a big deal, I feel like. I think it's kind of funny. I think a lot of it's very much overkill, but I'm not like, man, this is terrible. Up next, we got Sonic Cherry Limeade, zero sugar drink mix. I've used a lot of drink powders in my life, and a lot of them tend to benefit from being more watered down. Same with the, uh, the like, liquid version of this, you know, like the Mio's. Um, those are better with more water. Keep them watered down. That's a mistake I've made many times with Mio, especially the caffeine one is uh, not putting enough water in. Okay, this one smells pretty good. This one smells pretty good. The color, once again, terrifying. This one, it's really good. It tastes like just a normal cherry limeade drink. I will say, when it like hit my tongue, my tongue felt like dry. And I'm guessing that's probably, probably has to do with the citric acid content. Um, it is fairly acidic to get that lime flavor, but actually pretty good. I'm gonna put that one above, I'm gonna put that one above the Sunkist. Now, let's talk about some more of the criticisms of Water Talk. One of them being that it's promoting like toxic diet culture, which I can kind of understand actually where you're coming from on that because all these drink mixes, all these powder drink mixes, as well as the syrups that they use, I believe, they're all sugar-free and most of them are like extremely low in calories. Um, so a lot of people tend to use them as alternatives to like soda and pop um, to like cut down on calories. And a lot, like I, I know like in the bodybuilding community, people love like zero sugar drinks uh, because they're low in calories. So it's good when trying to lose weight. I would say that's the only valid criticism I've seen of Water Talk that it's promoting uh, toxic diet culture. But even on that front, I don't think it's too strong. I really do feel like the overall emphasis of Water Talk is having fun with silly little drinks. I don't think it's any different really than like fun bartender pages where they're like making cool shots and stuff. That's how I see it personally. I think there's I think there's a couple different viewpoints you could take this from, uh, but that's mine personally. Up next, we're gonna do the Nerds Grape Drink Mix, which I believe I actually saw this one, this specific one in a water talk they did. Although they never, they never like have like a solo powder. Like they don't do what I'm doing, I hope you understand. They have concoctions you know like when you're a child in the shower and you're putting all the shampoos and conditioners together to make a motion that's basically what they're doing but with drink mixes <laughs> with water drink mixes this one by far so far all the other ones were unremarkable in their packaging but the nerds the nerds grape like sleeve packet i i'm so far away from the camera it's gonna be hard to get this this thing to focus but it is a really nice packaging. Um, even like the box is pretty good. This is my favorite looking package so far. Comment down below if that sounded sus. Monty's gonna like come home from work in a couple hours and discover all of these powdered drink mixes and uh, probably be a slightly confused. Not super confused, but slightly confused for sure. This one is the first one that doesn't have an insane color. It's a really dark purple. Um, I'm not saying it's a good color or a very natural color, but the other ones are very bright and this one's very dark. It's like a, here, I'll, I'll bring them all on camera for a second here. You can definitely see there's like a pretty, pretty stark contrast between the nerds one and all the rest of them. This one tastes the most like something a child would drink. I don't know how to explain it properly, but this tastes like something a toddler would love. Very much an artificial grape flavor. Very much what I would expect. I would say this is just above the Starburst, uh, just below the Sunkiss drink mix. Um, I still think the Starburst is my, it, Starburst is still my least favorite, uh, but the Nerds isn't that much better than it. Um, it's fine, it's fine. All of these have been fine so far. Nothing has been terrible. I have to go wash out my cups real quick. I'll be right back. All right, glasses have been rinsed out. And we're ready for another set of four. Another big debate I've been seeing around water talk that actually me and Monty discussed as well was, is it still water? No, it's not. I'm just gonna say, this is not water. Nothing I've drank so far is water. It has water in it, but it's not water. I think a big reason why people who are proponents of classifying these as water still 
is to promote a bit more of a health conscious vibe, which I think that's kind of what leads to the toxic diet culture debate is that people want to still classify this as water. And that makes sense to me because this isn't water. This isn't really necessarily healthy. I mean, yeah, you're getting hydrated, but it's extra stuff you're putting in here that doesn't really need to be in water. It's not healthy. Something to think about. Up next, we have Pure Kick Blood Orange Energy. Another very boring package. This one looks gross. This one kind of looks like it, it looks like emergency almost. It's it's this one. This one has caffeine in it, though. This one has caffeine in it, though, which I think is a plus. And I spilled a decent bit of the powder. I think I inhaled a little bit of it. Let's put this in here. It's fine. It's um very, very similar to the Sunkist, but a little bit more tart, which I think that's where the blood comes from. But tastes almost exactly like the Sunkist, but just more tart. So I'm going to put it just below Sunkist because personally, I didn't like the tartness. But what do you guys think? Do you think any of these are still water? Like, do you think what I'm doing is basically just a water taste test? And if you do think that, I'd love to hear you in the comments below tell me why you think it's still water. I don't even have like a super hard line stance to be honest. Like, it's just such a weird debate to be having. Up next, uh, we got Sunkissed Pineapple. Now I love, love pineapple flavored drinks. I love myself a nice pina colada. That's one of my favorites. I'm so disappointed that the only one so far that was actually cool was the Nerds one. I, I'm, I'm disappointed. There's a couple more that I have a hope for. We have four more after this that I, I'm, I'm hopeful for, but smells very, very pineapple-y. Sunkissed pineapple down the hatchet. Wow. I'm just kind of shocked at how much this really does taste like pineapple. I think this one is gonna actually be the only this this is gonna this is gonna beat out the sun-kissed orange. I'm still keeping the cherry and limeade on top for now, but this one's really good. We might have to do an end of the game retry of the top couple to really see which one we prefer, but that's definitely right up there with cherry limeade and sun-kissed orange. That one's really good, tastes just like pineapple. This would actually, I, I'll, honestly, I'm probably gonna have the rest of the packets in here. I was gonna say this is nice on a hot day, but it is a hot day outside and it is nice. I'm gonna be real. This would also be really good like for like budget drink mixes because this is, this comes with six packets, I believe. Yeah, it comes with six packets and it was $1.25 at Dollar Tree. So this would be really good for some budget drink mixing. This is actually the second video I filmed today, by the way. I filmed another one uh, earlier today for, filmed and uploaded another one today for the second channel, More Morg, which I haven't been uploading on. My apologies, but talked about the newest Mr. Beast controversy with him creating a company town or whatever. I'm not repeating myself. Go watch it if you care. Up next, we got Skittles. Now, I'm guessing this one is going to taste like the Hawaiian punch drink pouches from Lunchables. That's what I'm expecting. Um, which if so, it'll probably be okay, but not great. So let's let's pull one out here. Yes, 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 yes. I knew, I knew this one was gonna have a cool package. I was so excited because I was like, the Nerds one had a cool one. I feel like the Skittles one has got to be cool. Let's take a look at that. Oh fuck, my lighting so bad. My camera so far away. This is an awesome looking packaging for this. Not at all like Hawaiian Punch. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. I I think I like it. I, I need to sip this a little bit more and think about it a little more though. I do like that. I am gonna put that above Sunkissed Orange, but below Sunkissed Pineapple. <sighs> Sorry for that slight jump cut and probably slightly different angle here. Uh, my battery on my camera died and then my tripod broke, but we're, <laughs> but we're back now. The reason I'm putting this above sun-kissed orange, but not above sun-kissed pineapple is because although the flavor is really good, it's very sweet compared to pretty much everything I've had so far. Uh, definitely not something I could drink every day at all versus like the sun-kissed pineapple I could definitely see myself sipping on, uh, on, a, on a decently regular basis. But let's get on to the next one before like my house catches on fire and my filming just gets even more difficult. Although during the cut, I did look at the footage and the lighting's okay. It's not great, but it's it's okay. Up next, we got Cherry 7-Up. This one, oh, another pretty cool package here. Uh, yeah, I like that package. It's like a maroon with green on the ends. It's actually it's actually quite nice. I feel like there was less powder in that one than, than the other ones that I tried so far. Uh, pretty nice color, actually. It's, more, it's a lot more translucent than most of the ones we've tried, which actually makes me feel a little bit better. I don't know if that shows up on camera, but... Okay, maybe it's not that much more translucent, but it's a lot... It's a lot better looking than a lot of the ones we've tried so far, which is not a very high bar. I like it. That being said, it's kind of suffering from the Skittles factor of like, this is not, this is not something I could drink every day by any means. It's, it's very sweet. 
Uh, and it's not as interesting as the Skittles one. It's a good cherry flavor, but not as fun as the Skittles and not as drinkable as the Sunkissed Pineapple. So I'm, I'm actually gonna put this one below Sunkissed Orange. It's good, not great. I wanna give a quick shout out to Color Threads for this awesome hat I'm rocking here today. Uh, I'd love to have the logo facing out, but it's a little bit difficult on video. All right, we got our glasses cleaned out. We have two new ones to try. Then I'm gonna be going through a couple of our top ones in making the decision as to what is actually gonna be this tier list. So we have two new ones to try out, and then I'm gonna be going through all of these and breaking them down into tiers and telling you what's the best and what's the worst. I saved two weird ones for last, and up next we have Jelly Belly Berry Blue Flavor. Ooh, another nice packaging on this one. That's wonderful. Another good side effect of this video is that it got me to fill up my Brita, but that is that the Brita is my kryptonite. You know, if I was Superman, get me near that water filtration system and I'm 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 going down to Lex Luthor. This has a very similar look to the Starburst Blue Raspberry we did. I think that one was a little bit more solid of a color. I, I believe this one's more transparent, but I'll have to look back at the footage to actually see, but very similar in color. Smells bad, smells bad, does not smell good. Don't like that. Yeah, that's bad. That's actually our first bad one. That one's the worst one so far. Did not like that one. All right. Oh my God. I'm getting like sl sluggish from these. I don't know what's in these. I mean, I am drinking a lot of liquid at once as well and I haven't had a pee break, but I'm, I'm feeling weighed down. And it is getting kind of warm in here because I had to close the window because a bird was chirping way too loud. And I love birds and I actually love to hear them chirp, but it was, it was getting picked up by the microphone. So I had to put an end to it. Last, but most certainly, not the least, we have a and root beer flavor. This caught my eye immediately, guys. I mean, how could you not see this and be like, hey, what? Cool package though, cool package. Very cool package. Sorry, I'm like covering my microphone while I'm trying to show you guys uh, this. Yep, you can't see it. Oh, 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 we're kind of getting it in focus there. Did I find the right angle? This one, is I'm, I'm gonna kind of be regurgitating what I said about the sun-kissed orange originally was that this is supposed to be carbonated and obviously my water is not carbonated. So I'm guessing that's gonna make for some weird effect on my taste buds, but hey, we'll see. And see, I, I said that about sun-kissed orange and currently sun-kissed orange is in the top four. So I do have hope for this A&W mix. Um, is that, is that foolish? Probably, but everything I do on this channel is foolish, so give me a break. I am making brown water right now. Smells exactly like an a root beer, so I guess that's good. I mean, that's good, right? It smells exactly like an a root beer. That has to be a positive, I think. I don't know, man. I don't know. This is a real wild card. Ah. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I mean... Does it taste like A&W? Yeah, I mean, it tastes like diet root beer. It tastes like diet root beer. It tastes like diet A&W. Because you don't have that sugar in there. And it's very obvious they're overcompensating for the lack of sugar, similar to a diet A&W. But the lack of carbonation is extremely, extremely off-putting. Way more than it was in Sunkist. Because uh, like I said, Sunkist was kind of fine without the carbonation. just tasted like an orange beverage. This very much is wrong. This is wrong. This is going down there with... Uh, Jelly Belly, but it is going above Jelly Belly. I must say it's gonna go above Jelly Belly for me. Okay, so we have tiers ranging from A tier to F tier. In F tier, we have Jelly Belly, Berry Blue all the way at the bottom. Right above that, we have A and W, also in F tier. And that will end our F tier. Those are the only two I really thought were bad. Those are the ones who I was like, these are doo-doo garbage. Everything else was like, you know, not doo-doo garbage. But there is still a D tier, and that would be held solely by Starburst Blue Raspberry. This one was mainly held back by how tart it was. Uh, other than that, it wasn't terrible. Like, the Blue Raspberry flavor was pretty on point, you know, to what you'd expect the Blue Raspberry. Not that Blue Raspberries are actually a thing, but it was, it was on point for a Blue Raspberry flavoring. Uh, it was just really tart and just a little bit off for me, so it's going in D tier. In C tier, we have from lowest to highest, Nerds, Grape, Pure Kick, Blood Orange Energy, and Cherry 7-Up. All of these, C and above for me, uh, acceptableness starts at C. Like, it, I, I would, I'll probably drink all of the ones above C tier again at some point, but D and F tier, I'm probably not, I'm probably not drinking again. In B tier, we have Skittles, Tropical Punch, and above that, Sunkissed Orange. Both of these 
were good for different reasons. The Skittles one was crazy and very, very out there, very different from all the other ones on the list. And the Sunkissed Orange was just genuinely good. I thought that was a pretty solid orange drink mix. Uh, better than other orange drink mixes I've had in the past. And then in A tier, we have Sunkissed Pineapple and Sonic Cherry Limeade. Both of these were good. I'm actually excited to have these again with some ice in it. Cool it off, sit outside while it's hot out, and have them again. Thank you for joining me on my little water talk journey here on my little powdered drink extravaganza. I hope it was informative to you, or at the very least, entertaining. Uh, I know I learned something, so hopefully you did too. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on the water talk debates we talked about, and let me know if you plan on trying any of these drink mixes, or if you've had any of these drink mixes. If you've had any of them, definitely let me know. Like the video, uh, subscribe. I'll be back soon for more.